Linea is a ZK EVM Ethereum rollup, and it's one of the fastest growing chains in crypto. Today's video is all about how to start using Linea, as well as their ongoing Linea DeFi Voyage quests that you can use to earn soulbound tokens that signify your contribution to the Linea ecosystem. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Before I get started, a couple quick disclosures. First, this is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only about how to use one of the fastest growing chains in crypto. And second, I'll disclose that this video is sponsored by Linea. However, if you watch this channel, you know that I did another video about Linea a few weeks ago. So it's a chain that I was already following closely. And when they reached out, I was happy to do a partnership. Now, let's get into the video. To start, let's talk a little bit about what exactly Linea is and why it's so interesting. Linea is a ZK EVM rollup for scaling Ethereum. And ZK EVM means ZK uses ZK rollups to scale, which is basically a highly efficient way of bundling transactions and then settling them onto Ethereum. And then EVM means Ethereum virtual machine. So anything that's deployed on Ethereum can easily be redeployed on Linea. And that's really important because that means that Ethereum applications like Uniswap, like Aave, for example, they can redeploy onto Linea uh, without reworking their entire code. And this is really important for allowing the ecosystem to get bootstrapped and growing quickly. And uh, they've been doing a lot of exciting things recently. Uh, the other thing that's really important to know about Linea is that they are powered by consensus. They're built by a company known as Consensus, and they are one of the most important software companies in the Ethereum ecosystem. Even if you don't know them, you are probably familiar with their flagship product, which is MetaMask. MetaMask is the most common crypto web wallet by far, over 100 million users. If you've used any sort of Ethereum compatible chain like Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, and others, you've probably used MetaMask at some point. And, and Consensus has a lot of other products as well. So they're deeply entrenched in the Ethereum ecosystem, and they are building a lot of products that are already used every day. Another one of their well-known projects is Infura, which is a Web3 infrastructure provider. And that's Linea in a nutshell. If you look at the stats on L2B, you can see that the amount of funds uploaded to Linea has been growing pretty steadily since they launched earlier this year. And if you look at the activity, then you can see that it's really been surging the past month or two. And so there's a lot going on on this chain, and in today's video, we're going to unpack some of the things that you can do yourself if you're interested in using it. Uh, first thing that you'd want to do if you were going to start using Linea is you would need to bridge there. And the official bridge is bridge.linea.build. And if you go here, you would basically connect your wallet. You connect using MetaMask. You know, it's that simple. And then what you'll do is you'll be able to bridge funds from Ethereum over to Linea itself. And in this case, because MetaMask is built by the same company as Linea, their quasi-official bridge would be using the MetaMask bridge. So if we click on that, then you can see it has some notices here, but you can bridge from Ethereum to Linea directly from the MetaMask application. It's, it's really that simple. And you'll see that there's a number of tokens you can send over. However, I would recommend sending over ETH since you'll need that to pay for gas fees on Linea anyways. Like Ethereum, gas fees on Linea are paid using ETH. So that's how you get to Linea. Once you're there, probably the first thing that you'll want to do is start using some DeFi applications. And there's a couple that I wanted to share with you in this video. First, if you want to swap your ETH into other tokens, either to use in DeFi or because there's some token that's native to Linea that you're interested in purchasing, there's a few major DEXs on there. The largest is currently this one that's known as SyncSwap. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward DEX. It's on a few other Ethereum layer twos as well. And it's going to function similar to anything like Uniswap or another application. You can see it's also on ZK Sync, Ethereum, Scroll, as well as some test nets. You, of course, are going to want to make sure you're using it on Linea. And then once you do that, you'll be able to swap ETH to any of these other tokens that are that are available on Linea. You can see that there's stable coins, there's some bridged layer one tokens, and then there's some other tokens that are specific to Linea itself. Uh, if you are hesitant to use SyncSwap since it's a relatively new DEX, then PancakeSwap is also deployed on Linea. However, keep in mind that it has lower liquidity. But you can see PancakeSwap has really expanded to a lot of new chains recently, and Linea is one of the chains that they've expanded to. And if we look at the tokens available here over on Linea, we can see that there's similar selection of ETH, BTC, stablecoins, uh, but in this case you have the Cake token as well, and there may be other tokens that are launched eventually on Linea. 
And so that's how you can start swapping on Lindia. If you want to earn some yield, then there are also yield farms available here, although I'll talk about an application in a minute that you can use to earn some optimized versions of these yields. However, you can see that there are some pretty good rates right now. For example, 18% on stable coins, 93% on USDC ETH, although with very low liquidity, you've got a pretty strong 17% on staked ETH and ETH paired. And again, there's low liquidity, but Linea might have a future airdrop. Uh, certainly there's a lot of speculation around it. So it doesn't hurt to use some of these applications because traditionally using applications both for trading and for providing liquidity and depositing funds is something that's taken into account in those sorts of airdrop decisions. One other application that I thought was really unique on Linea, this isn't something for investing, although you will need to do this uh, if you're completing their quests, is they have this, this 0x Varex application. And what's really cool about this is that basically what this does is it's a proof of humanity application and it's a way to help prevent sibling of potential airdrops sibling of quests uh, and it has a lot of other potential future applications if you think about it one of the big tech uh, narratives you might say or events this year has been the rise of ai and tools like chat gpt uh, image generators and one of the problems with that is it becomes increasingly difficult to tell whether someone's a real human or whether they could be some sort of autonomous agent or bot with AI generating text or even voice. And what something like this does that's proof of humanity helps prevent the creation of mass numbers of those human-like bots that are, that are masquerading as real humans. And so it's really powerful for Sybil resistance. And, and yeah, so I was pretty impressed that they've got uh, these strong applications like PancakeSwap on here they've got this what i would consider to be a pretty unique application already uh, and then if you're interested in getting involved they currently have this linea d5 voyage going on and basically the way that this works is you complete various quests in their d5 ecosystem it's ongoing for a few more weeks still and in doing so you earn these xps those xps take the form of soulbound tokens on linea and i don't know if these will be worth anything eventually however if i was interested in earning some sort of linea airdrop, then I would probably want to get these get these SBTs because at a minimum, you're using the network, right? It's kind of a guided way of using the network. They're showing you what they value. On another hand, if they do decide to reward their early community, either with an airdrop or with some other form in the future, then naturally they would want to reward people who participated in their official quest. So I'll link this down in the description, but I think this is pretty cool. Most of these are things that are pretty straightforward, like borrowing and lending on the platform, providing liquidity and yield farming on the platform, and so on and so forth. Uh, one other application I wanted to share is this one known as Clip Finance. I'll disclose that I'm actually an advisor to Clip Finance. I have been for over a year now. However, they just deployed on Linea earlier this week, and they basically have a vault for farming this pancake swap stablecoin pool right now. And if you look here, right now it's earning 18.67%. Not to mention that Clip also has a token coming at some point in the future, and by farming this vault, you are earning an allocation towards the future Clip token airdrop. Uh, and so this product, again, I've been advising them for over a year, so I'm biased, but they've got a really strong team, and they just deployed on Linea. If I was interested in using Linea, if I wanted to try out Linea DeFi, and I wanted to qualify for a potential future Linea airdrop, as well as a confirmed future airdrop for a new DeFi application, I think this could be a worthwhile one to check out. You can see that relatively low capital deposited so far. However, they're audited and have three doxxed and experienced co-founders who have all had startups in the past. And if you want to really go down the rabbit hole of trying out other applications on Linea, some places you could reference is first their ecosystem page on their official website. This is going to show you a lot of other applications that are building on Linea itself. You can see there's a ton some of these are launched, some of these aren't, some of these are DeFi protocols, some of these are wallets, but this could be a good place to start really deep diving into the ecosystem. Another place you could go is just to the Linea page on DeFi Llama. In here, you'll see dozens of applications that are on Linea. You see lending protocols, cross chain, lots of DEXs, options, social finance, and so on and so forth. If you want to get a sense of the ecosystem and what there is to do, this is another 
great place to start. And also you can use this to track stats for the ecosystem. So if you want to decide and know, are people still bridging money to Linea? Well, you can tell because you can see the total value locked here as well as other statistics. And that's what you need to know about Linea. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.